Hi, welcome to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. I welcome all our friends and neighbors from around the world. We have a fabulous show here today. It's going to be called uh, Empowerment and Giving Back. But before we get to the show, I want to show you a couple of photographs uh, of last week. You remember when we were with Dave Livingston and he talked about all of the, the, the fun things that Rotary does? Well, here's a few pictures that you could see. This was me at the Rotary Club luncheon where I was the guest host. And, oh, there's me giving, uh, let's hold that picture for a second. Dave is wearing an I am in charge shirt, which is something that we do with one of the topics we're doing today. Let's see the next one. There I am speaking, and I think that's enough. That just gives you the idea. It's the Rotary Club of Waikiki, or Honolulu, and it was just a fabulous meeting. These people give away a lot of uh, money, and they do a lot of things for the community. So let's get on to today's show. Uh, empowerment. Now, we, I have a co-guest here with me, a co-host with me. Sharon, you have been with me before, actually, just a few weeks ago, and now you are one of the best hosts on Think Tech Hawaii. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome so back. Gracious. Well, it's true. It's, it's true. So You're, you were one of the, uh, I think what, one of your weeks, you were the highest rated show of the week, which is wow. terrific. So that's I'm amazing. Very proud of you. That Thank is terrific. You. And I feel slightly responsible for bringing you <laughs> to Think Tech Hawaii. So it's, it's wonderful to have you aboard. You. And we have Patria, yeah. who is from Kids Her Too, and Hero, who is from Kids Her Too. Okay. And both of you have been on this show as well before. And the reason I'm smiling so much is because I'm so happy that we're all together. The reason is because empowerment and giving back is something all four of us have in common. And I think it's so important to understand it's not all about making money, that happiness in this world is about doing things for other people. You happen to be doing it for Sisters Empowering Hawaii. Sisters Empowering Hawaii. And you guys are doing it for Kids Hurt Too, mm -hmm. which is all about kids. And to me, that is such a critical piece of our community. Yes, we all have to make money. Yes, we all have to feed our families. But what you are doing is critical for those people who need that little extra push, whether it's for the women in our audience and the women around the world and you guys for the kids. We're also, just before we get into it, I want to say that, Sharon, you're going to be speaking at the same group I just showed at the Rotary <laughs> Club next week. Thank you and so you're going much. To enjoy that. that because it's a large group of people and you'll find them extremely responsive and I know what you'll talk about will be very inspirational to them. And then you guys are getting something from Dave Livingston, mm -hmm. who was my guest last week, oh. where he is going to help your foster youth coordinate a program in the YMCA. Oh. So everything comes around. Mm -hmm. You know, it's amazing how things really come in circles. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons I wanted to have you all here is because I want the audience to know whether you're in Austria or whether you're in Germany or Canada or here in the U.S., that we're all in the same boat, that kids need help, women need help, mothers need help, mm -hmm. everybody somewhere needs help, and we all should do something to help those people. So, uh, Sharon, why don't we introduce Sisters Empowering Hawaii a little bit? Absolutely. Sisters Empowering Hawaii is Hawaii's foremost women's empowerment organization. And our biggest goal and mission and objectives is to empower, motivate, and educate all women all across the board. And so I always look at happiness as something to look forward to. And I really love the fact that empowering women, and I love confident women who are able to also give. And like you said before, it's not all about getting paid. Yes, we do need to get paid. But when you give, you return, the return is so much larger. So thank you so much for having, giving me this opportunity to come on once again. Well, I have to tell you that it's a pleasure having you on because I don't have to say anything. Once you take over the microphone, <laughs> even if it falls even off, if it falls. You, it, it's wonderful. <laughs> Patria, tell us a little bit again about Kids Hurt Too. So Kids Hurt to Hawaii um, is an organization that works with kids who have had a loss of some sort of a parent. And so kids lose parents for a variety of reasons. And so we get referrals from families themselves, but also from uh, a variety of different places all around the community. Uh, and we do peer-to-peer -peer support groups for kids who have lost parents. And we also work with youth transitioning out of foster care. 
which is something that I'm involved with with yeah. you, with our, you are in charge program. We're going to yeah. actually show some, show some pictures of Great. that a little bit later. Hiro, you tell yes. us what you do with Kids Hurt Too. Oh, I'm the founder of the Kids Hurt Too Hawaii 16 years ago with my wife, Cynthia, and then uh, my friends, uh, mother, I mean, three of us, you know, founded. And then, uh, uh, yep, we've been, you know, supporting, you know, the <coughs> grieving children. You know, so, you know, peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, peer support and, you know, doing a lot of, you know, activities and also at the same time. So. Hiro, I know for a fact that you do much more than that. You also go back to Japan to right. help the grieving children in Japan. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the Kids Hurt Too program, too. Uh, Explain yes. how that works. Um, the 2011, the big earthquake happened in the uh, uh, northern part of Japan, around Fukushima. And then uh, I started going since June of 2011 and then uh, up until last year uh, you know like every two months I go but go back to you know Japan and the Tohoku area then we uh, provide like a support groups and training like we do in Hawaii mm -hmm. so that was a pretty you know um, busy in a sense but back and forth and I was doing a groups and you know programs uh, half of the you know the months in Hawaii Maybe two thirds, and then uh, ten days or two weeks or so go to Japan and you know work with so those. So kids her too, Patria. The 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 aim of kids her too is overall helping children, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, children in need for grieving children. But what Hero is doing is on an international mm -hmm. scale. Mm -hmm. what, now, how many kids have you helped, Hero, in Ooh, in Japan? Japan? Um, I don't. Um, close to maybe a thousand. A thousand kids. And we brought uh, a. Wow. Uh, last year, we brought 44 children who lost parents through, from the tsunami, and then we did a uh, uh, in, yes, international grief trauma camp with the local children. So last year, was a 64 five, and this year, we brought 20 wow. you know, uh, children who lost family members through the you know, tsunami, and then we did a, about 30 children's grief international camp in, up in the North Shore this that March. That is terrific. Well, I can tell you that uh, I'm part of this Kids Hurt Too organization and I, they are the most worthy, worthy of organizations because nothing is more important than helping our kids. And what Patria does and what Hero does, both on, an, on a Hawaii level and an international level, needs a tremendous amount of support. Mm -hmm. And we did have a fundraiser, we're going to talk about that and the next fundraiser. But more important than that is we're going to accentuate how we're going to get Sisters Empowering Hawaii right. helping you guys. So could you explain what we're doing to help them via your, your it's, it's, it's not a donation, it's a scholarship. Absolutely. Fortunately, uh, Sisters Empowering Hawaii, every year, March is National Women's History Month. And in March, we had our second annual Women Making History luncheon. And it was also a book signing. We were able to partner with Argosy University. They were so generous and so giving and very involved and inspiring and motivating and, of course, educating people. They donated to each attendee, which we had well over 200 attendees. We were sold out um, at the Wildlife Country Club, that they donated to each attendee $5,000 scholarship. And fortunately, some of the people said, you know, Sharon, I would like to pay this for it. And we already have our doctorate, we already have our master's. And they returned some of the certificates to me to pay it forward. And so when I came on your show mm -hmm. and I donated them to you, you paid it forward and you offered it to Kids Hurt Too, is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So this is a $5,000 scholarship. Wow. To show it to um, the camera. Show it to the camera right here? Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. Right there. It's a $5,000 Argosy University Hawaii Scott 5,000 scholarship and says congratulations Sisters Empowering Hawaii March 2017 and I'm so happy that I'm able to donate this to your children so we can further their education mm -hmm. to empower them inspire them and educate them as well so here you are Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> so, Patria, uh, since this happened, I mean, you see how things go around. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. You gave it to me, and I said, I know somebody who really needs it, and it's some of your foster kids, right? Yeah. Explain to me how these are going to be given. Yeah. So, we work with foster youth who are leaving the system, and 
that can be a very tenuous time for young people without a solid base of support, and many do not have that support. Uh, trying to figure out how to make a living wage, and some are not on a track to go to college. They don't have a path to college. Mm -hmm. So as we get to know these young people, it becomes clear who's really ready and would jump at the chance if they had the resources available. So we have um, several young people who we're talking with and finding out who's ready to commit to pursuing this. And uh, we also do some work development uh, pieces with young people. So we want to encourage college, we want to encourage making a living wage and finding work that they enjoy doing and can grow in. So this allows us to um, offer uh, something really special to a couple well, of our young Well, what we need to do, I think if it's okay with you, Sharon, and with you, Patria, is when you uh, decide on which of your recipients will get these yeah. two scholarships, why don't we bring them on the show and you, uh, I, I, I think that would be great. Oh, I would love you that. You would be able to come on as well and we do a presentation to them yeah. on on air, which yep. I think would be great for them and their families to see. Yeah. All right. Are you? All, are you? I'm okay on board for that. And another thing I would like to add, please, which is wonderful about this scholarship, they have two years to use it. So this gives them a time to research uh, the the um, field that they would like to go into, have a chance to visit the campus, get familiar with the campus, and get in that comfort zone. Yeah. So I'm very excited about this. I would love to come back and present it to you to and I have another surprise for you <laughs> if you find another one I am willing and ready to give another five thousand wow. dollar scholarship wow. Wow. That's extremely that, would generous. Be fantastic. Yeah. that is so thank cool you oh, I'm so excited about this <laughs> well I think you know what it does it just shows what we all want to do and that's to help especially young people it's so important and I think from my experience with what kids her Two does and what the Hawaii foster youth coalition does and what my program you're in charge us with the kids education is truly the key yes we can help them get jobs but if we can get them an education they will have a much better life and they'll be a much better contributing member to our society mm -hmm. and I think that's a critical issue for all of us don't you think yes mm -hmm. so Sharon I want to hear a little bit more about what your plans are you're a guest host here you've got you're on how often are you so people can find you Thanks to you, I, we have a show, Sister Power, which I am the host of, and it's on every other Thursday at 4 p.m. And we're live, and fortunately, I've had two guests so far, the Honorable Sandra Sims. She's a retired judge, and she's a, a Hawaii's first African-American judge, woman judge, as a matter of fact. And then we were also able to have on yesterday, Tadia Rice, who she received the 2017 Ellis Medal Honor, which oh. is very prestigious. And, and this was given out in New York. Mm -hmm. So this is a wonderful platform. I was saying yesterday, a lot of times when we girls, we meet for lunch, we don't really have a chance to talk about what we do and how we do. And so through your giving, paying it forward, we're able to have a platform where we can have sister talk right here at Think Tank. Just Tech. wonderful. Think wonderful. Tech Hawaii. Think Tech. That is wonderful. Now, Patrick and Hero, we're going to show some photographs, <laughs> uh, some pictures of uh, the Kids Her Two events and things that we've done together. And I'd like you and all of us to actually comment on them as we go, because I want people to see what Kids Her Two is all about. Mm -hmm. So if we could bring one. Okay, there's the first. Hero, there you are. Right. And that's with me. And, and that's James, who has been on our show and is a wonderful, wonderful speaker. Uh, James uh, has been with you for several years now, right? Yes, uh, quite a long time, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he, really? He's been wow. with us and for our new store. Yeah, he's been coming out every week to uh, work with us on this new program we're trying to launch. And he's really excited to contribute and mm -hmm. we talk about ideas. And ah, yeah, that's wonderful. He's just a and this boy. event actually was a fundraiser mm -hmm. that we did yeah. uh, at uh, Ko'olau Golf Club. That's right. And uh, I was honored at that fundraiser. Yeah, Thank you very right. much. Yeah. That was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And we raised a lot of money for yeah, kids. We did too, good. We which did was good. First fundraiser. Fabulous. Yeah. yeah. And James was one of our speakers, mm -hmm. and he was so inspirational, yeah. absolutely amazing. Whenever we do outreach programs like we, we do your, what's the program we do once a year? Um, where we're the real world, the real the world real program. World, that's right. yeah. He's one of the guys that's mm -hmm. terrific yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now we've got to take a short break, and then we're going to look at some more of the pictures of kids here too, and what they do, and we'll go from there. 
Great. So uh, I'm here with Sharon, with Hero, and with Patria. We're on Seymour's World, and we're talking about empowerment and giving back. We'll be back in a minute. Aloha, my name is Stephen Philip Katz. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I'm the host of Shrink Wrap Hawaii, where I talk to other shrinks. Did you ever want to get your head shrunk? Well, this is the best place to come to pick one. I've been doing this. We must have 60 shows with a whole bunch of shrinks that you can look at. I'm here on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock every other Tuesday. I hope you are too. Aloha. Welcome back to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. We're here with three of my favorite people in the world who have all been on my show before. But I have to say, we are together now because we're intermixing. We're, we're just, all of us are working together. And I think, uh, Sharon, you said the word, we're going forward with it. And I think that's so important because all of us have to rely on helping each other. One of the most important things we do. Sharon Yarbrough is here from Sisters Empowering Hawaii. Hero and Patria are here from Kids Hurt Too. And I'm representing, I guess, just me. But in any case, we're going to talk a little bit about Kids Hurt Too and what we do there. So here's a, our first picture. Oh. That's uh, that is my wife. <laughs> She's lovely. And me, yes. <laughs> Sue is my rock. She is the lady who holds me together. Responsible. If any of you do watch my commentaries, and I know a lot of you do because I get a lot of comments, Sue is actually the one mostly responsible for the commentaries. She comes up with the ideas, and my and me because I'm a blabbermouth. Come up with the <laughs> with the rest. Let's see the next one. That's a nice picture. And that is my family. Yeah. Oh my God, they were all there. Now that's my son Aaron in the middle, the little guy. He's only six foot five. And Ashley, his wife, and my daughter Alana, the blonde in the pose uh, pose feature, and Grant, her boyfriend. Let's see the next one. Okay, hero, who's this? This is uh, um, uh, Senator Wakari. Yes. And he, uh, we are same age, and he's. Uh, uh, out of Japan, he was adopted when he was a baby. So oh. we both grew up in a Japanese orphanage. Oh, so he is a great yes. supporter. Yes, yeah, so too yeah, as great well. supporter. We just talk story then. Oh, that's just, wonderful. You know. Did he speak at our fundraiser? I don't remember. Do you remember? No, he didn't no, speak. I but I, we, so. I, we, I always invited him to come. That's wonderful. No, we wonderful. just uh, we just he, we Let's just both turned fifty years old. Oh, so good. This <laughs> year. Next one. So he's a great supporter. This is Patria. James. This is our James, uh, who is there and so kind and generous to be there with us that night. Patria, tell me a little bit about how you handle the situation. James is a quadriplegic, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And he has a, a great difficulty in speaking, and he speaking comes. Speaking is okay. All, yeah, but mm -hmm. he comes all the time, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Your kids, her too, is his home, isn't it? Yeah, I, I really um, am touched every time he comes over. A hero is uh, someone who's really close to. And so everything like um, eating, Hero's assisting him. Mm -hmm. um, any uh, Anything that James needs to do, uh, Hero is like right there assisting. And so there, you can tell there's a strong relationship that's developed over time. And that's a really special thing to be um, part of his family. Hero, is he like a son to you? Well, he's my buddy. Yeah, <laughs> we're yeah. always hanging out. Um, we have to wait sometimes the buses, and we do talk stories. And one time, I was pushing with my skateboard, skating together. <laughs> <No kidding. laughs> yeah. Waiting for the handy van. Sometimes right. James has to wait a lot for the handy van. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he has a very tough life. Mm -hmm. But this young man has such a positive attitude. He, he I'm, has, I'm yes. amazed. Well, he's been to my urine charge program mm -hmm. three times, I think. Oh wow! Or more, three or four times, and he loves it. He loves the camaraderie because he's with other young people mm -hmm. and he now has become one of the seniors in our in our urine That's charge right. group right. and he talks to them about mm -hmm. what it takes to make sure you're structured and you have discipline mm -hmm. and how to handle your passion and mm -hmm. support and all that stuff he really is right. an amazing is, character yes, amazing. let's see some of the other photos go ahead oh this is a, a long time ago he must be 
close to uh, maybe 20 years old now. Oh, wow. And he was, uh, not Haula, uh, you know, like a loi. Yeah. Up in the Kaneohe side. Yeah. And you know, that was the first time we did this, you know, organized, kids had to organize, you know, uh, go to the loi and take care of the Talo event. Oh, yeah. that's this yes. is a picture from when that first began, and that continues up till today. Just this last Saturday, mm -hmm. we had a group of right. youth uh, visiting Aloi on the windward side, and there's something we all know that's really important about connecting um, with our uh, nature and being able to um, see something grow and be a part of that. That's wonderful. <sighs> this is, I think, one of the first. Uh, this is a Likeke. Remember the Likeke? Yes, he of course. He that. spoke He was like about then, 10 years old. And, yeah. you know, all, all boys are like about close to 20 years old. And this uh, the South for the Soul. Uh, we do now a day four times a year. Back oh, then, wow. a one, once a year event. Then. And you have to do this all on your This is, I mean, these kids don't do this on their own. They have mm -hmm. to do it through kids or two. Yes. So there's no opportunity for these kids to do it unless they do it through you. Yes, yeah, some wonderful. of them. Yeah, Just yeah. wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. These are, we want to include pictures of we, uh, when we work with young people, uh, yeah, oftentimes don't. transitioning out of foster mm -hmm. care, we like to create space for, to hear from them about what their um, thoughts are, what their dreams are, mm -hmm. what things they are looking for, support around. So this is an example of the kinds of gatherings that we like to create and set up with our young people. Oh, wonderful. And these are foster kids? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is like a maybe seven, so eight So they might ago. be in the You're in Charge program in the next group that we do uh, together? They are much older now. Oh, so okay. So this is one of your... We're trying not to show pictures. Because I don't recognize any of these. Well, we, yeah, we don't want to show then. pictures, current pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. People. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Oh. This is the, the last day of the camp. We did, uh, uh, you know, from children from Japan, Tohoku, you know, full of the parents and family members through tsunami. And then the campfire in the last day is uh, the, this picture. How wonderful is it? I mean, Sharon, you're, we're both, in, in Jewish we have an expression, it's called kvelling. Kvelling means you just feel so good when you see that you're helping other people and what you guys are doing is just as good as what you were doing at Sisters Empowering Why and What I Do. Just well, you know, in, in the African-American world, we just say stay woke and stay prayed up. Yeah. I, I think this is absolutely amazing. I would love to be a part of this one day. Well, you are going to be because yeah. <laughs> you know, once you know me, you're going to be okay. part of all of the <laughs> stuff that I do. It's really important because mm -hmm. I think everybody needs role models. Mm -hmm. And one mm -hmm. of the issues that we have at Kids Hurt Too in our Foster Kids program is they need people to talk to them. Mm -hmm. They need people that they can confide in. And uh, we have Hero and Patria provide interns in my group, in your in charge group, mm -hmm. who can help the kids just relate, answer questions, feel comfortable about talking about their intimate mm. and issues that they have and I think uh, I always like to have a lot of guest speakers come and talk to the group at your in charge so yes you will definitely be involved okay. and we have I'd say equal girls and boys now right uh, yes about Mm, more boys. Yeah, more oh, boys. Right now, there's now. a lot no, more boys lot more involved. Boys. Really? Yeah, cool. it tends to. Cool. Yeah. Patria, there's something going on at Kids Hurt Too we haven't even yeah, talked about. Oh Tell us about this new initiative in yeah. the in the foster space. Yeah, so we have this incredible space at the Kukui Center, which is right on the edge of Chinatown, and a, a large room. And we looked at that room, and we looked at our, what Hiro and I started talking and dreaming and considering what we've heard time and time again from young people in foster care about needing to gain work experience uh, in a safe place. And this is what we decided to build uh, based on all of that feedback. And we named this new project, it's called High Rising, HI for Hawaii, High Rising. So we are all about incubating uh, young people who have ideas and want to learn design, want to apply those designs to a real market in a real retail setting. We are developing some customer partnerships towards that end and uh, we'll be able to feature um, the products and ideas of young people and we it's uh, something that we imagine will be like an entrepreneurial hub where a lot of different young people will be involved a lot of different ideas will get hopefully launched in that space and there's a lot of uh, young people who are so creative and if they had access to uh, a market if they had access to mentors and uh, access to safe places to test their ideas Fantastic. we think they'll 
go and do all kinds of um, small businesses and pursue their ideas. Well, Hero, the market. Tell us about the market. Who's going to be the market? First? Well, um, we're thinking like uh, there's uh, so many uh, Japanese tourists come to Hawaii, as you know, and there's a, a Japanese Shinto shrine right behind, you know, our building, and there's uh, always like uh, every day 30 or 40. You know, trolley comes around. Trolleys and buses yeah. that come. So they just uh, go to visit, you know, Shinto shrine, and they just wait. You know, they that that place become like one of the, you know, uh, tourist destinations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so you I, have twelve hundred people a day. I don't know how many, but I mm -hmm. got thirty to forty. Yes, yeah, like, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Seasons. You know? Yeah. So I just you know beginning. You know, we have to market. You know, so just fast. I have to go there, talk story with them, invite them, maybe. You know, yeah. but. Uh, you know, we are uh, trying to communicate with a lot of publishers, you know, um, about, our, you know, the high-rising store. But the high-rising store that you're going to have is not just for the tourist market. Mm -hmm. The area nope. around where your, your location is, mm -hmm. there's an office building, there's yeah. a bank behind you, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that walk in that area. Yeah. So there has to be some way for them to be able to come in and buy some of the products that you have. And also we're going to have a coffee Yeah, shop. it'll be a little snack stand because mm -hmm. there's no vending machine in our building and we right. hear from um, our coworkers all the time, oh, it'd be great if there was a place to buy coffee nearby. It'd be great if there were some snacks we could and purchase. There's tons of Parking too, yeah, so people can yeah. stop in, grab something, and then just go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. I think it's such an exciting project. I love the idea, and you know, part of my program, the You Are in Charge program, is mentoring them into mm -hmm. figuring out what they want to do, mm -hmm. right? Not just doing their passion, but figuring out how they can best move forward in their life, how they can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Here's a way for most of them to gain retail experience, design experience, mm -hmm. creativity. Mm -hmm. uh, there's all sorts of things that they will gain by working in a location like this. Yeah. That's, so how many foster kids are we talking about? Well, as we launch it, we're looking at working real closely with about eight young people as we get started, and they'll be paid learning stipends for agreeing Wonderful. to come into our training. Wonderful. So we'll start small, and, and we hope to grow. Well, I have two volunteers for you. We need them. <laughs> Sharon Yarbrough, right there. <laughs> Seymour Kazimersky, right oh. here. We will be glad to help. And I know my wife, Sue, mm -hmm. said she'll be glad to help, too. Okay. So oh, my husband, too. There, that's He's, four volunteers. So we have, yeah, four. Yeah, that's four awesome. volunteers will be glad to <laughs> And help. I was looking at what kinds of skills, and immediately three caught my eye for wow. Citizens Empowering Hawaii. Graphic design, Ooh. marketing, and business planning. There yeah, you go. yeah. These Excellent. Are, yeah, Excellent. these are areas that young people, mm -hmm. if they had a chance to learn, and even bookkeeping, um, we're talking about interior design a lot because we're designing our store yes. space and they're helping renovate it. So. There's a wow. lot of uh, skills that come to play. Well, out. as you can see, this is very yes. typical of what we're all about, right? Helping each other. So thank you very much for coming on Seymour's mm -hmm. World. This will not be the last time mm -hmm. because I love talking about what you guys are doing. Sharon, Hero, Patria, just wonderful to have you. And thank you all for watching and listening. You you're just watched another episode of Seymour's World, which I hope will give you a chance to think about helping others. Aloha from Seymour's World in Think Tech Hawaii.